All right, guys, back working on the uh, X2. Um, had this out, ah, it's been a while. And jet ski ran great for most of the day. And then I was going across the lake and it just bogged out. Um, not 100% sure what'll happen. I do know when I got it over to the bank, the um, oil, the hose pickup here for your uh, oil pump where it comes to the carburetor had collapsed and fell off. Um, so I've actually got the oil tank now out of it. Uh, I'm going to delete the oil pump as well as the, um, I guess it's called the crank case drain. Um, it'd be this little deal right here. I've got that coming as well. So I've got got both of those deletes coming there. They should have been here by now. Um, still waiting for those to show up. So kind of the plan is I'm, I'm probably gonna go ahead and pull the motor out of the jet ski. Um, pull the tank out of it. Really just clean this thing up uh, completely. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to try to do the outside as well. So um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I wanna do all new, new mats here. Um, and get all that done. I know a lot of people talk about trimming the back of these. Uh, not real sure what all they're trimming on, on them. Um, I know I've seen some where this is actually cut back into, I think into here maybe. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what all they're trimming, um, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna do any of that yet. A uh, couple things I'd like to do is a ride plate, maybe change the prop on it, get it to where it's a little quicker coming out of the water. And honestly, that's probably about it. Um, as far as what what I want to do with it so um, but yeah so this is where I'm at right now I'm getting ready to check compression on it because I honestly I haven't um, so I'm really really not sure what I've got there um, but yeah the jet ski is super super nasty this thing uh, from day one has been pretty gross so but like I said it did run and ran great for a while I don't know if I've even showed it with the seat I did reupholster the seat. It's not perfect. I used yoga mat to fill in because I had no padding. Um, so I'll probably try to get a seat as well for it. See if I can find one. And like I said, I'm going to do a couple other things. I want to delete this crap, uh, get rid of this, and make the steering solid because this is pretty kind of loose um, with that adjustment. So I'm going to be looking into that. I think I can just pull that loose, bolt it down, uh, straight up and down, and call it call it good. Um, yeah, I may do some other mods, but uh, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and set the camera up here and see. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe there. I don't know if you guys can be able to see this or not. We'll find out. So, um, go ahead and put the back spark plug back in check compression see what see what I've got here so, and hopefully hopefully I'll have have some decent decent numbers here um, but we'll see Okay guys, I've got the uh, rear plug in here and got it tightened down. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me see if you guys can see that. Like so I'm gonna go ahead here and um, see if I can, the bad thing is I wanna check this wide open. Let me, let me see. Really need a second set of hands. I'd like to check it with the carb wide open, but we're probably gonna do it just like this. Let's see what we got. Okay, and as usual, um, camera fell from the vibration. So almost 100, 150 pounds. We're like 145, probably. We'll go ahead here and um, I'll check the rear cylinder as well and see what it's at. Um, I'm just gonna set the camera down and I'll cut back here in a second after I get I had three. a little bit harder time on the back cylinder getting this to fit in there, but um, got it and we're running about the same. So probably about that 140, 145. 
range, so not too bad. So got good compression um, for for this motor. Let's plug out. So uh, next thing, looks like I said things. The thing's running. I think it's mostly carburetor um, related, but uh, there's a few things like I said I want to do to this. Maybe I might be losing spark. I don't think so. Um, I can't really tell what the coil looks like back there, but um, we'll check here real quick. Sorry guys, the camera's up close here, but let me see what I got here. Like I said, I think, I'm pretty sure I got really good spark. Um, let me see if I can set this up somewhere where we can kind of see it here. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but really good spark on that. Cylinder. So we'll go ahead and stick it here on the back one. And I'll probably edit a bunch of this out. I don't know this camera's flopping around quite a bit. Doing this today with my phone, so. Let's see what we got there. Oh yeah, good spark, so. Good spark, good compression. Um, so that pretty much tells me we've got a fuel issue whether um, it's the fuel pump. Uh, these do have a fuel pump over here on the side, so they don't have them built into the actual um, carburetor, like on some of the, some of your newer carbs, um, they've got an actual vacuum pump that is built into the carb here. Uh, these, you actually have to have this little fuel pump uh, right in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's a little fuel pump right here that Runs off vacuum, it pulls, pumps fuel into the jet ski. So I'm gonna go ahead here. Put the plugs back in it. Tighten these down. I'm probably gonna replace the plugs with some NGKs, some BR9s or something. Um, I'm not real familiar with these champions. I don't know, I'm not sure how long these have even been in here. Actually, I'm gonna tighten that. Tighten that back one down because they're kind of hard to get into. Once you put the front one on, they're kind of hard to turn. So go ahead and snug up the back one there. And like I said, I've got, got a few things I want to do to this ski. Um, kind of the main goal this, this year, we're probably done. Um, up here where I live. There might be a weekend I may be able to get it out. Maybe we'll see. But for the most part, uh, after Labor Day, you're kind of done um, riding for a while. So, but we'll see. See what happens. I really would like to get this thing 100%, make it really reliable for next season. But we'll see. So we'll see what she does real quick. Got the choke on. Got plenty of fuel. Throttle here. up sounds good then it dies you get a choke again still want to run so I'm not a hundred percent sure um, 
the carp thing. If I've got a vacuum leak somewhere on it. The thing that's weird is like I said, it ran great. Um, I really don't know on this oil pump. It's kind of what's making me wonder if I don't need to plug up the vacuum pump on the front. I don't know if that pulls, can pull air making it lean. Um, not real familiar with these. So I know I've read some, some different things saying, hey, if this little plug drain here, um, leaks or whatever it can make them run lean again i'm not that familiar so i really don't know um and like i said i know it was running great and then the oiler uh line snapped on me i thought about just going and getting another oiler hooking it up and seeing what happens because uh, basically i could just run a hose from here back over to there hook all that back up but um, i did put a cap on the carb side uh, but I don't have one right now for down on the um, oil injection side, so I don't know that it's pulling. Maybe it pulls air through, I really don't know. So, yeah. Uh, not real sure. So, I don't know where I'm going to go from here. Um, like I said, I'm going to delete this. I'm probably going to pull it. I probably will just do a carb, uh, change this carb out. I believe this is stock. So, plans probably go with the Makuni uh, 44. I think it's SBN44 or something like that. It's what everybody recommends. So if anybody has any other recommendations, let me know. Um, but that's kind of the plan is to basically strip the ski down uh, to the hole, go through it, clean everything up, uh, probably redo the outside of it. The, the actual, this uh, body part of it, or the whole portion of it is in pretty decent shape. It's got a few scratches, um, but nothing nothing major. The hole itself is pretty pretty solid. But kind of plan is probably pull all this crap off, sand it down a little bit, uh, repaint the whole ski. And then the basically start putting it back together. Uh, clean the motor all up. Like I said, the motor does seem to have good, good compression. Um, and while I'm going back with it, I'm probably going to do some aftermarket stuff to it. I would like to get a different pipe for it. Um, something similar like was on the stand up and even another ride plate and go from there so um yeah that's kind of kind of where i'm gonna leave it today again i'm not real real sure um what's going on with it but yeah she just doesn't doesn't really want to run right right now with uh with where the carbs at so i think it's i still think it's carb related but we'll see so again if you guys uh want to see anything on this um in this process, I'm going to try to do this whole build with this one uh, best I can. And yeah, do kind of a complete restoration, I guess, of this ski because uh, I think it'll be fun. Um, the stand up, we actually took it out on the, oh, we actually took it out again last weekend um, and we, we had issues with it. Uh, it ran for a little bit, but it's not, not one to say run. I don't know if the coals are breaking down. Um, runs great. You go to fire it back up, doesn't want to start. So uh, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with it. Um, so got coils, I believe, ordered for it, uh, reed valves. So we'll see. I'd like to like to get that back on the water. It's actually, I actually sold that to a friend. So, um, but we still still ride together. So it, we'll, we'll still have video content on it, but I really just don't have a good way to get this ski and my two big skis to the lake. So having a fourth one just didn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, it made more sense just to sell it to him. He's been wanting one and um, it's still kind of in our in our group. We can still ride it and still have access to it. So uh, just got to get it running right. But anyway, uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I know I'm kind of dragging this out, but um, yeah, that's kind of the plan with the X2. I really like to, like to get this thing up and going. Um, looks like a fun ski. A little bit we had it on the water is really fun. I definitely, definitely got to get something back here because these uh, the uh, hydro turf or whatever you want to call this crap is terrible. Really, really tears up your legs. So um, got to get that replaced. I'm going to try to wrap it all the way around the edges too um, and do it nice. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Again, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Uh, if there's something you want to see, hit me up. I'll try to help you guys out the most or the best I can. Um, and we'll catch you all in the next one.
Thanks for watching. All right, guys, gonna add to the end of this video. Um, I started a video a while back, but didn't really have a whole lot to add. Uh, I was planning to, to actually put a carburetor and some stuff on the uh, X2. Um, ended up getting scammed on that deal. So uh, this is kind of just a warning to everybody out there. If you're buying something off of uh, Facebook Marketplace or one of the groups, uh, if you don't know them, just do the PayPal servicing goods. Don't don't get conned into doing the friend and family crap because that's what I did. Um, it's 250 bucks, but it's still 250 bucks. So uh, I was trying to pick up a carburetor and um, intake, and yeah, I got got took on it. So it's on me. Should have known better. Um, frustrating, but hey, it could be worse. So. Um, so what you're seeing here is another TS650. Uh, I picked this one up for 150 bucks. Uh, these things are pretty ugly. They're, they're not bad skis. Um, overall, they're they're um, they're actually a really good starter ski. So, but I picked this one up, and I actually have another one identical to it, but it's in a lot rougher shape. Um, that they both run. So, pick these up basically for parts for the um, 650SX stand up, and then also for my. Uh, 650 x2 so it's really looking for a 750 but had a couple guys on marketplace hit me up uh, locally on these uh, picked this one up for 150 bucks picked the other one up for 200 dollars. so uh, really good deals both like i said running skis they're just they're ugly skis so this one here's really dirty but the stickers and the plastic and body on this thing are really really good shape so i'm not i'm not sure what i want to do with this one yet most likely i think i'm going to gut it um but yeah, this one's pretty nice to just pull the motor out of, but I think that's the direction we're gonna go. Um, this one does need, the one thing that it, that it does need is a seat cover. That's about it, it looks like. Um, you guys can see the seat's rough, but the rest of it's actually not bad. I mean, if you were to power wash all this crap out, uh, clean it up nice. Um, it's got some, some of the clear coat peeling up here on the front, but even the stock stickers are not in that bad of shape. It's actually a pretty, pretty straight ski for the most part. But uh, so kind of the plan, I guess, for for sure on the other one. The other one's a lot rougher shape, but the motor's pretty solid in it. Uh, kind of the plan with both of these is to yank everything out, uh, all the wiring. I'm going to use the on-off um, and start switches off the TS 650s. That way you've got a lanyard uh, to to put or to kill if you fall off and yeah, I just have two spare motors. So um, my 650 runs great. The other one, the other 650 we have runs really well too. We're having, I think, an electrical issue. Um, not not real sure. Jet ski runs when it wants to. You put it on the water and it kind of runs until you tip it over or fall off of it. And then it's like either the kill switch or something gets wet or maybe the, the uh, stator's getting warm, the coil. I'm not 100% sure. Um, on land, it sounds great. And, and in the water, it runs great for a little bit. So not sure what's going on with it yet, but we're, we're working to figure that out. Uh, my X2 hits the carburetor, so um, kind of the plan. I think at this point is probably to pull this, use one of these off of one of these, rebuild it, put them in it. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this one up here. Literally, I got the ski, put fuel in it, and a jump pack. <laughs> We'll see, but uh, so there'll be some videos coming here shortly of pulling these motors out, pulling the motor out of the X2, and like I said, I'm gonna do the uh, crankcase block off and also the oil injection block off and some of that stuff to them. So stay tuned for all that, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.